Well, here's the latest update for the expected snow and wind across the area. Did issue some winter weather advisories for much of the area. Now, this will be mainly a southern Wyoming event, also east of the divide. So, we'll see Evanston Rock Springs over toward Warm Southern Rollins. And also, the Wind River Basin, that includes Riverton as well as Lander. I know that doesn't show up on the map, but it's right there. Also, I-25 Buffalo right down toward Casper. Extends up into Sheridan as well, and the Bighorns. Now, there will be some snow in these other areas. I think especially Tetons as well as southeastern portions of the Bighorn Basin. Thermopolis over toward Ten Sleep, but not quite as much as the other areas. Now, as we time out the impacts, we'll be moving into the west this morning, especially the northwestern mountains. You probably will see snow this morning, then lesser amounts as we head toward the afternoon hours. And then generally moving west to east, it'll start around Rock Springs in the evening hours. The main places east of the divide will start off as rain. It might not change over to snow until around midnight for many areas as well. So we find during the day today and even the evening hours, many areas should be okay. With the maximum impacts coming in late uh, tonight, especially heading toward Thursday morning. So the morning can make, may want to allow yourself some extra time. As far as the wind, we have had some pretty good winds tonight as well. Go close to 70 mile an hour gusts here along South Pass, around 60 miles per hour around, along Outer Drive or Wyoming Boulevard to the south of Casper. We'll soon be some wind gusts about 40 to 50 miles per hour across the uh, wind prone areas. Now the good news with this is that once the snow comes in, the wind should die off a little bit. It'll still be breezy, but we shouldn't see wind gusts like this when the snow comes in. Now some probabilistic stuff. This is a chance of seeing one inch or more. Now, many areas have a pretty good chance of seeing that. 90% across most of the area where we have the advisors in effect. Lesser chances if you head north and west though. Now as we bump this up to four inches, which is considered plowable snow, chances drop off. Just about 100% here across some of the mountain areas, but as far as the lower elevations where people actually live, anywhere from about a 25 to 40% chance we have those advisors in effect. Includes uh, Lander a little higher there, also Riverton, Casper up toward uh, Buffalo, and along the I-80 corridor, about 40% as we will there, with again lesser chances as we head further to the north and west. And finally, it's our official forecast, which is what you've been waiting for. Generally in the uh, advisory area, anywhere from about 2 to 4 inches, includes I-80 as well as Riverton, uh, Buffalo as well. Now lower elevations, we want some northeast flow that usually does pretty well for Lander. They should snow a little longer than everybody. You could see maybe 5 locally, 6 inches there especially as you head up towards Sinks Canyon, those higher elevations there. Mountain ranges maybe locally a foot across portions of the Wind Rivers, also the, also the uh, Bighorn Mountains, with lesser amounts as we head further to the north and west, maybe three inches around uh, Thermopolis, one to two around Warland, a little bit more as you head toward Ten Sleep. Here's our resources. If you want weather, just go to our homepage, weather.gov slash RAW. Now for road conditions, go here, wireroad.info. If you want to call them on the phone, Actually, people don't have phones like that. It's just flat now with a cell phone. So, you want to call them on the phone flat like this? Anyway, 511 in state, 188 Wild Road out of state. And our webcams by route, go to our homepage, click on local programs tab, we go to webcams by route. We got cams from all over the state. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your day.